Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a college dorm haul video today because I actually move in next week. So I'll be showing you guys some things that I got and some things I thought were like important and I'll be doing a dorm tour video so you can see how I put everything together. So stay tuned. So my school sent me postcards and emails about this company called rhl.org and I'll put the link in the description to make it easier. But they have great shipping. It came in like within the next week. Um, they cater to colleges because all of their sheets and bedding are for twin extra long bags, which most colleges actually have, and they have stuff for the bed and a couple of stuff for bath. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got in my box. Um, they sent me a bedside buddy. It's basically a thing that you can hang over your bed and put like your remote in or something like that. It has a whole bunch of pouches. They sent a pop open hamper. and a underbed storage solution. I'm not exactly sure what it looks like because I haven't taken it out the package, but you'll see it later on in my dorm tour video once I actually move in. I got two sets of sheets for my bed. Got a plain blue one, this one, and a matching pillowcase just for that one. And I got sent a mattress protector and pillow protectors. I highly recommend that you get those because you don't know who had the bed before you and you don't know like what they did in it. So yeah, mattress protectors would be nice. I got a thermal blanket. Cozy. I got um, a quilted mattress pad. I really recommend that you get one of these and or an egg crate which I which was also in the bag a box and it's just for your own comfort like I went to orientation for my school and you had the choice of either staying in the dorm or in a hotel and I wanted to experience the dorm life I guess so I stayed in the dorm and um, the bed was very uncomfortable it felt like I was sleeping on cardboard I really couldn't even like sleep so I suggest you get one of those. A comforter came in the box and you have your own choice of comforter and when you get sent towels and a throw your um, stuff is basically based off of the colors of your comforter. So I got like blue towels but you can choose any color throw. I just got a plain black one so it doesn't get dirty. And here's my towels. I got two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths all together. And they sent me two big bath sheets. I guess it's for if you don't have a towel wrap or something like that, then they're big enough to cover you um, from the room to the bathroom. And I got two pillows, and they're just the same size. So I'll just show you one. And I want to say that is all that came in the box. So it was a pretty good deal. I think mine came up to like maybe 200 something. But that was great because now I don't even have to go shopping for my bed. But I did get a few throw pillows just because. So I really suggest that you get something from RHL.org. Because you just get one big box and you don't even have to like repack. You just take it straight to school. So going off on like bedding and bath, I got couple of these throw pillows from Garden Ridge. I don't remember how much they were but their stuff is like really well priced. I got this pillow. Um, this gray pillow to match the gray wall and we're getting a gray rug. And this fluffy white pillow which is my favorite. It's really fluffy. And one of these pillows, the ones that you sit in, I'm not sure what you call them. But yeah, and those are all my throw pillows. And for bath, um, there's just my caddy. So here's my new caddy. I got a shower wrap from Target. This one is cheap. So price on it. I got some shower shoes. They don't have to be fancy. Just use them to shower in. Um, a shower cap I got from. Bed Bath and & Beyond, and a couple of washcloths from Target, and 
ombre. There's eight of these in the pack. And there's uh, somebody put this in here, but a towel in here. I'm not sure if that has space for one. And uh, shower caddy. And that's all I got from for my bed and bath. So I want a Keurig for my school's on it grad party. Very excited, obviously. And if you don't put the K cup into the thing, then you actually it just makes hot water. So you can use that for soup, ramen, or something like that. Something easy for food. And I got some microwavable containers for food as well. I just wanted a whole bunch of different sizes, which they're telling what you'll eat, I guess. Got this water bottle because somebody was like, oh, you need water. You need to get a water bottle. I was like, okay, then water bottle's on the list. So I got this water bottle from Walmart. It's pretty cool. It says two-way lid water vessel. Ooh, it's a vessel. Like, you can open it here and put ice in it. And it's made out of, oops, made out of hard plastic. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. So that's it for food and stuff like that. So for cleanup and storage, I guess, I got a laundry bag from Bed Bath & Beyond. This one was six bucks, so that's pretty good. I got this mini ironing board. I didn't even realize match the laundry bag, but this was ten bucks at Bed Bath and Beyond, and it's a table top one. You can just put it on a table and iron. And it's little, so it'd be like great for storage. Then I got some little cubes. I got like two different colors because I wasn't sure if it like matched my bedding because it's kind of different in light and darkness like it gets lighter and darker or something like that and that goes with the cube holder I guess I got for storage as well so that's handy and I got a vacuum cleaner a Bissell vacuum cleaner you can take it apart and make it into handheld so that's handy and it's little as well so excuse my nails it's easy for storage so I guess I'll show you guys my backpack I got a Victoria's Secret pink backpack you have to make sure that your straps are like very comfortable because you're gonna be holding it for like long periods of time sometimes this one's like $49.95, but I got it on sale. They're doing some crazy sale. And I get one with a lot of compartments. That's just the small one. And here's the next one. So you have a whole bunch of pouches. You have some things here. Stick it up. And you have like one more big pouch. And there's like this. You can put your laptop or something in there. So I found that very handy. And I also got a duffel bag for those days that you're going to want to go home. So, I only got a small one because I just live two hours away from home. So, if I want to come home, <laughs> I have this little duffel bag. I think I, yeah, I got this from Garden Bridge. And it was cheap. So, yeah, 30 bucks. So, it wasn't that bad. And it also rolled. So, very happy. For my desk, I got this desk lamp from Walmart, and it has those compartments for pencils and stuff like that. I got uh, an extension cord, and it's by Quirky. That's just my channel. Didn't even notice. Um, I got a clip table fan, or clip slash table. Um, I also got. A calculator. I'm not sure if we're going to need these in college. I know we use them a lot in high school. It's a TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. I'm not sure if it has to be that fancy, but I got it just in case. It was on sale. I got it at Target, so it like 
these usually run for like 100 or 120 bucks and I think this is the newest brand and I got it for like 80 or 90 dollars so that was pretty good I got a calendar a desk calendar that you can put the months and days of the week on and for school supplies not that exciting for me personally because I didn't know what to get I just asked people on Twitter and they were like you're gonna need notebooks pencils and pens and stuff like that so I got these post-it flags so you can mark the pages without having to actually mark the pages pens um, I use lead pencils I let you use so dry erase markers for the board got most of that stuff at Walmart and they really emphasize the need for notebooks so I went ham on the notebooks okay like I didn't have notebooks from last year that I didn't even use so probably have more than I need people please like get college ruled paper we are not in elementary school anymore like that's one of my biggest pet peeves is white roll paper I hate white roll paper so make sure it says college ruled notebook can't emphasize that enough like I feel like your professor should hate me back to your paper if it's white rolled and that's pretty much it for my desk stuff but I do have three DIY projects that I did because I'm a DIY junkie and I got them like mostly from Pinterest like I love Pinterest Pinterest is life so <laughs> I did this I got a frame from Walmart for very cheap this is an old scarf I used so I like basically stretched it across and stapled it and then I got some twine rope from Walmart also. It's like really cheap and it's just some thin rope that you can hang across. So I glued it, hot glued it here, dragged it across the front and then hot glued it to the other side. And I printed out some pictures over the years of me and my friends and bought some wooden clothespins. So it's like the hanging clothespins thing. And this is what it looks like. for this I really enjoyed doing this and the scarf I never wore like actually matches my um room color so that's great last one and I made a chalkboard with my cousin before she left she's already in college now so good luck to you I miss you <laughs> and I just used an old mirror that I had at home and we went to Home Depot and got some chalkboard spray it wasn't that expensive but yeah if you do use an old mirror then I would tape up the frame like I did and then do about two coats of spray because if you just do one then if you start writing on it too hard with the chalk you can like scratch it and you can see the mirror start to show so that was something fun and behind me I also made my roommate and I matching headboards just to give it that homey feel so the socks, so cute. And I put our initials up there using iron on transfers and then hers in the back. If you do decide to do this, be aware of the shape that you want because it was kind of hard for me to drape the fabric, fabric over it and trying to keep it from bubbling up and stuff, but I guess it's no biggie. Also, I have a list of stuff that like I still need to get or maybe I forgot in this video so I have to check my phone so for like scents and stuff I was watching another youtubers channel and she was saying how smells stay in the room because it is a small room so you should get some wall plugins or a candle warmer because you cannot like light the candles with a light or anything like that I know my cousin got the glade sprays and it that worked and it was like 9, 18, or 36 minutes. You could spray every so often. 
Um, a jump drive is very important because you do a lot of work in college and you do not want your computer shutting off on you or something like that. So you should save as you go. And command 3M strips, we use that on my cousin's dorm to hang her chalkboard and I'll post a picture of her bed right around here and you can see the chalkboard hanging right above her bed and this is what the command 3m for strips look like they have strips and hooks so that's very useful since you can't like nail things down into the wall um you should get a first aid kit in mine i'll probably have like pills for migraines and stuff cough syrup <laughs> and i'm clumsy so i'll probably put some alcohol peroxide and band-aids and stuff um, a girl was saying how, not disease, but um, cold spread like really fast throughout the campus because like you are all in that like small community, especially in dorms. Um, very important, I would say, is a boot and shoe tray because eventually it is going to rain and you don't want like dirty shoes trudging through your dorm, especially if you have to clean it up. And I'm going to get bed risers. My school actually has a company that can loft them for you, but I just wanted couple of inches so I can um, store stuff under it to make it more convenient. I'll also be getting some cleaning supplies. Um, bug spray is kind of important because you don't want them creepy crawlers in there. I personally hate bugs. <laughs> um, a mini steamer maybe if I don't feel like ironing then I can just run it over with the steamer. Windex, Febreze, and Tide Pods just to make laundry a bit easier. I still need maybe another extension cord slash power strip, strip, uh, Tupperware, and some plastic silverware would be helpful. Ethernet cables, a printer, and uh, a vanity mirror. I would suggest that you get one with the light around it, so if you have to get ready for class or something before your roommate's even awake, you don't have to disturb them or anything like that. And some people do get safes. Sometimes you can't trust your roommate if you don't know them and you don't have friends over every once in a while and you don't want them stealing your stuff if you don't know them like that. So I'd say that's on the important list as well. And rain boots, rain coats, and workout clothes are important. So don't forget those. Thank you for watching my channel and that's it for today. I will um, be posting a dorm tour video sooner or later when I move in next week. So like this video, subscribe, comment if you think I should do more videos or if you have any questions or something like that, feel free to comment and thanks for watching.